graph theory in this part we're gonna talk about walk path trail cycle and circuit definition a graph G is an ordered pair G equal to the pair V and E where V is a finite non-empty set of vertices the singular is vertex V equal to VG and E is a set of edges E equals to EG now before we continue please subscribe click the bell like share and put your nice comments below definitions let G equals to the pair VE be a graph then then the cardinality of V which is the same as NG of V is called the order of G the cardinality of E which is also the same as MG of E is called the size of G if the edges of G are undirected edges where each edge is represented by a set of two vertices VW then G is an undirected graph or just graph so here because it is a set so the order is not important so the set of VW is the same as the set of WV if the edges of G are directed edges where each edge is represented by a pair an order pair VW then G is a directed graph or digraph here the order is important so the pair VW is not the same as the pair WV so an undirected edge is represented by a set and a directed edge is represented by a pair but for convenience we will write an edge VW instead of the pair VW for a directed edge and the set VW for an undirected edge example 1 let G1 which equals to VE be a graph where V is the set of V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, and V7 these are the vertices and E is the set of V1, V2, V1, V3, V2, V4, V2, V5, V3, V5, V4, V5, V4, V6, V4, V7, and V5, V7 these are the edges and it is a drawing representing the graph G1 the vertices are represented by small circles and the edges are represented by lines connecting those circles here G1 is an undirected graph the order N G1 of G1 is 7 this is the number of vertices the size MG1 of G1 is 9 this is the number of edges of the graph G1 example 2 let G2 which equals to the pair of V and E be a graph where V is the set of V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5 so these are the vertices and E is the set of V1, V2, V1, V3, V2, V4, V3, V5, V4, V2, and V4, V5. So they are the edges. This is the picture representing the graph G2 that consists of five vertices and six edges. So G2 is a directed graph. The order N G2 of G2 is five and the size mg2 of g2 is 6 for now we're just gonna focus on undirected graph definitions let g which equals to the pair of v and e be a graph 
Then an xy walk is an alternating sequence. x equals to v0, e1, v1, e2, and so on, en, vn, which equals to y. Of vertices and edges starting with x and ending with y, such that ek, which equals to vk minus 1 vk, for k equals to 1, 2, and so on, and are edges of g. So here, the v's and the e's, the vertices and the edges, do not have to be different. So some of them can be repeated. A closed work is an xx work. So the starting and ending point are the same. And an open work is an xy work where x and y are different. An xy trail is an xy work without repetition of edge. So vertices can be repeated but no repetition of edge. An xy path is an xy work without repetition of vertex. Now this also implies that there's no repetition of edge. A circuit is a closed trail. So it is a trail where the starting and ending vertices are the same. A cycle is a closed path. Example 3. Now consider this graph. It consists of 7 vertices and 9 edges which are E1, E2, and so on until E9. E1 is V1, V2. E2 is V1, V3. E3 is V2, V4. And so on. And E9 is V5, V7. Now we start with V1. And then E, V2. E3, V4. E7, V6. Back E7, V4. E8, V7. And E9, V5. This is an example of V1, V5 walk. Here we see that the vertex V4 is repeated. And also, the edge E7 is also repeated. So this work has a repetition of edge and vertex. Now we start with V2. And then E3, V4. E6, V5. E9, V7. E8, V4. E6, V5, E4, V2. This is an example of V2, V2 close work. Here the vertex V4 is repeated and the edge E6 is also repeated. Now we start from V3, then E5, V5. Then E6, V4, E3, V2, E4, V5, and E9, V7. It is an example of V3, V7 trail. So here the vertex V5 is repeated, but there is no edge repeated. Now let's start from the V1. And then E1, V2, E4, V5, E6, V4, E8, V7, E9, V5, E5, V3, and finally E2, V1. This is an example of V1, V1 circuit. Here the vertex V5 is repeated, but there's no H repeated. Now we start from V1, E1, V2, E3, V4, E6, V5, and E9, V7. 
This is an example of V1, V7 path. So here there's no repetition of vertex. Now we start from V1. E1, V2. E3, V4. E6, V5. E5, V3. And E2, V1. This is an example of a cycle from V1 to V1. Here there's no repetition of vertices. Well, except for the starting which is the same as the ending vertex.